This is not particularly difficult algebra, but I still wouldn't really be doing algebra here. I mean, we have four answer choices. Three of them are pretty easy to think about. Which value is a solution to the given equation? Just plug them in. And this is a great example too of how something I say on the SAT all the time is like laziness can be a good thing, right? Like we, we're allowed to be lazy if we're being lazy in a smart way. My laziness says, why don't we just try out the easiest answer four, something I can think about really easily. If I put the absolute value of four plus 61, yeah, because absolute value has no effect on, on numbers like that. It only affects really negative numbers. So four is just four. So four plus 61 is 65. I'm done. There's no scratch paper here. There's no solving for X. There's definitely no putting this into Desmos. And really the absolute value is just there to make you feel like the question is harder. It has no effect. But just to remind you of what it does, another possible solution of this uh, equation would also be negative four, because if we put negative four in, then the absolute value is going to turn that into a positive four. Remember, that's what those absolute value bars do. They're kind of like parentheses that once you take whatever's inside them and resolve it, if it's a negative number, it becomes a positive number. And so this would just become the same thing, four plus 61, and that is also 65. So we might need that fact for harder questions, but uh, you're really only gonna get one absolute value question per SAT. So I feel like we're probably done with that for this one.